All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. I want to go back to the Oasis Utility Center. I think this is where all the permanent power-ups were for me to buy, and I'd like to check out those because there may be some cool things I'm still missing out on. There's life farm in here. Oh yeah, right. I can bounce on those guys for a while. But I'm not going to spend my time on that right now. I think these are the items that I can get. Yeah, here we go. I think this is the only one that I found so far, so... This bandana stifles your fiery temperament. You will no longer automatically throw fireballs while spin jumping. Okay, so that's one I already have. As I can see right here. This gauntlet gracefully enhances your grip power. With it, you will be able to spin jump while holding an item. Nice. Uh... 37, so I can actually get this. Nice. Alright, this is a very useful quality of life enhancement. This first aid kit provides mushrooms to keep you from being small when you're in the overworld. It's ineffective if you have a reserved item. Alright. Aw, oh, just shy. I gotta remember to come back here soon. This flamethrower will allow you to shoot five short-range fireballs at the same time every two seconds when you have a fire when you have a flower. Oh, I can actually get this. So let's check it out. Oh, maybe it doesn't take effect until I leave the room. Oh, I see it now. Whoa! <laughs> That's cool! It charges- it takes a couple of sec- yeah. So as I said, every two seconds you can do this. So I was originally thinking it was going to be like a side grade, like a di different way of using the fireballs, but I can still throw my regular fireballs anytime I want. It looks as if I'm throwing these ones, I can't use the burst, so I shouldn't spam them randomly. I'm still not exactly sure how to use this effectively, but... Well, that's it for now. Some really cool tech there. And... What is this? Oh yeah, this is the room that allows me to turn off the switches and turn them back on again. I have no interest in doing that right now. Clothes. Let's see if I can unlock any more. Okay. Nothing new there. So I have Boon and I have Demo. Alright, looks like I can't unlock any more yet. I need to find another storage somewhere, I think. Alright, let's head back to where I was. I never really commented on it too much, but this overworld looks super nice. There's a lot of work put into it. Lots of cool land formations and mountains and... Going under the bridges here. All the sort of, like, little details. Der Rom, or however I'm supposed to pronounce that. By Lazy. Hey, let's see how my new fireball power treats me. All the lockers were taken, so we left our clothes on the floor. Please don't make a mess. Uh, well... Dang it, I can't actually quite get a life out of that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have destroyed them all. Well, now I'm in trouble. Oh, okay. Hopefully I don't need to, like, cart a whole bunch over. Whoops. That was stupid. There we go. Bounced right in the middle that time. Okay. Throw that. Oh, shoot. For some reason I wasn't expecting to hit the switch again. <laughs> Also, I get the title now that it's just the locker room. Okay, I'll grab that shell instead. If I'm gonna grab any of them. Which I will. I see no reason not to. Oh, well, there goes my shell. I guess I'm not allowed to break this obstacle with it. Oh well, it's easy enough anyways. Not too concerned. 
Okay, I guess I probably don't need that shell up there. Wait here for a moment, just to think about the next obstacle, if nothing else. Okay, so hitting the switch will re release the shell, then I bounce on that one. Ugh, maybe I should have actually aimed for the place where the shell was going to be. That would be a little bit smarter. I did not react very well to landing on the spike. a little bit better this time. Oh, this is cool. So many sprites on the screen, it's weird for this game. Oh, goodbye to those. Alright, I guess that shell must have hit a switch. Now there's a hole in there, so I gotta be extra careful. Oh, this is cool. It's an obstacle that progressively gets harder, just no matter what you do, but it's by your own movements that it gets harder. Mario is afraid of losing his locker key, so he decides to glue it to his hands. Um, so am I unable to drop this now? Okay. And I also cannot spin jump despite my power up, so... Okay, I see how this works now. I'm gonna be creating obstacles for myself as I go along. Okay, good. Those blocks did what I thought they would. Alright, so I'll hit the shell, and then I need to be prepared to jump on it again. Oh, I can just jump to that block, I suppose, if I'm fast enough. But instead I landed right between the shell and the block, which is exactly what you don't want to do. Hmm, that's weird. I'm not spin jumping while holding the shell, either. Maybe that power-up is just disabled for this level in general. Okay, bounce up here to hit this one, and then use this to go farther. As long as I land right in the middle, it's almost impossible to miss the shell, but that's not always easy to do. Oh, this is cool. And we go back, and then we use the shell. And then we go fast because those spikes are there, but we were able to see that earlier, so it's fine. Alright, hit that one, get it moving. And this part's actually easier because I don't have to go all the way down through those blocks. Start those shells moving. Do a cheeky bounce on that. Okay, so it looks like I go up and then I land on the shell, going down. Whoa, okay. It's just gonna be a long chain of this. Oh no. Darn it. Oh good, it actually resets. I wonder if that's because the game didn't want to make you have to kill yourself. Dang it. Because I know some people hate that a lot when you have to kill yourself because you've just got no way to complete the obstacle anymore. But maybe it was also just because the obstacle was hard. I don't know. Okay, so it looks like we just want to run here. Good, that worked. I'm assuming it slacks off at this point. Alright. And I'm not sure what these are for. It looks like right... Maybe it's telling us if we go right, we have an obstacle with grab blocks, and if we go left, we have an obstacle with shells. Oh, this is a reset pipe. That's not what I was expecting. Oh, send the grab blocks right and the shells left. That makes sense. Cool. Alright. 
That worked out pretty well. Now we just go up through here. Oh, and I've got to get rid of this key somehow. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get to those dragon coins. So I got to help Mario Luigi unlock his locker here. So I'm not sure what to do. Let's just see what happens. Maybe I'm just supposed to get all of the shells in here without breaking any. Well, that didn't work. Oh, and yes, I get the P-Switch now. Oh, I only need four shells, so I don't need to avoid breaking any, but... Alright, I'm assuming I have multiple tries. I'm assuming I can try as many times as I want. There isn't even a time limit on this level, so I can just keep going until I get it, and that'll be that. Go. Now I hit the P-Switch. Broken. Broken. Oh, I, I think I actually do need to get them all in there. Okay, if I jump with the right rhythm, I think that should work. Okay, wait just a little bit longer. There we go. Now I can go in. Yeah, I just kind of use the sounds to time it. So basically, I you would hear the thunk, the thunk, the thunk as the shells are going along, and right after that, the thunk, I was just pressing the jump button to hit the switch again. And that just seems to work out perfectly. And now I've used up my locker key, so I get to take all of the dragon coins. I only need two more levels before I can go back and get that uh, health pack power-up, which is a very nice one to have. It's bounce time by Pyro. I had a feeling just by the name that it was going to be Pyro, but... Whoa, and I am definitely bouncy. They weren't kidding when they said it's bounce time. I don't think I'm going to be able to test that uh, spin jump power-up in this level. Well, they go down just a little bit, but it doesn't uh, allow me to actually move them anywhere. I'm wondering if there's going to be some sort of puzzle with them later. I don't know what it could be, though. Alright, this is the right moment. Those Koopas are not well-timed right now. There we go. Oh, this is going to be a thing. Okay, it's not that long. I thought it was going to be really long. Well, I don't get that, but I really don't care. Where am I going? Okay. <laughs> I was really worried for a second. I was like, I'm just going to yolo this and hope there's something there. No, this is, this is no good. My momentum was not quite right. Boink. Oh, good thing it kept going, because I was thinking that it was going to actually just fall off, and then I'd just land on the munchers, but nope, we're good. And there is not a lot of clearance there. Oh, this is, this is very intimidating. Okay, going well so far. There we go. Oh man, there's got to be a move point soon. I've gone through a lot of obstacles. There it is. Thank goodness, I did not want to lose that progress. Because a lot of those obstacles were genuinely pretty scary, and also the type of obstacle that you tend to mess up more if you do it again, rather than less. Good enough. Just barely. Alright, so now just hover here. Actually, this doesn't help at all. <laughs> there was no point in waiting around for it. Whoops. 
That did not work out. But there's a mushroom right there, so I don't even have to be punished for that hit. I can just grab the mushroom and keep on going. Dang it. Okay, I get punished a lot for that hit. Now I've really got to be careful. I don't even think being small will help me avoid things very much. There we go. Just straight over those. Don't bounce high. Whoops! Darn it! <laughs> I think that uh, section of uh, switch blocks is more of a hindrance than a help. I think it was intended to be a help, but it actually just makes me scared of bouncing into those Koopas and also gets in my way. If it was just a little bit longer, it would be helpful, but... Oh shoot, I can't actually go under it that easy. I tried to slip under it, and I just didn't quite get it down. pretty easy. There we go. Finally got that one down, too. Nice, and that was right next to the end. Be very impressive if someone ti actually timed a 50 on this level. Then again, I suppose maybe I just would have had to wait a cup like a frame longer before I hit the flagpole there, but inappropriate grinding. What Noobs Do in Any RPG by Lolly Yoshi. Also, uh, it'll give me a save prompt, which is oh so useful in this game. Looks like this will be the second last uh, set of Dragon Coins before I can get that power up. Okay, I guess by the title I could have sussed out that this was a level based around grinders, but... Oh, well, this is easy enough. Just grab it, go back. Don't get surprised by the sod down there. Avoid that. This is surprisingly straightforward so far. There's a lot of room for error on all of these obstacles. Like, I wasn't even fast at all there. I used to find obstacles like this one, like, there's one one obstacle like this in the original Super Mario World, and I used to find it so difficult. Really just need to wait for an opening and then take it confidently, but... Destroy these? Can I destroy the magic? Yes, so I gotta be careful about that. Wait for those guys to go by. Jump over him. I'm gonna keep my cape, I think. The fireball does absolutely nothing for me in this level. Well, the timing of that is not very good. 
Whoops. I kind of cheated by flying there, but I don't think it really made a difference. Hey, some peace and quiet for two seconds. <laughs> it's one of those noises that you don't even really notice it's there until it's gone and it's like, wow, this is so nice. Alright, haven't hit the third dragon coin yet, but I feel like it would have been hard to miss it back there. I felt like there were going to be some smashers coming down in that section for some reason, but I guess not. I don't even need this mushroom. Goodbye. That was actually pretty close. Alright, just ignore everything, just do that. Oh, okay. It'll come back, so it's not like I need to needed to rush or anything. So far, not a whole lot to say about most of these obstacles, except I'm not really sure how to get past that one nicely. Alright, bounce on you to go up the top. Alright, the thwomp's just there to stop me from going around the top. Nope, that didn't quite work. That one was actually pretty precise. And also, wow, I am almost running out of time. I didn't think I was going that slowly. Better kill this boss ASAP. Hopefully it's easy. And it's a Resnor. Man, I need to swap power-ups. The cape is messing me up here. And now let's grab my cape back. <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. That boss was really easy, too. It was only the time limit that made it difficult at all. This this castle feels like it should have been swapped with the last one, maybe? Like, the last one was a great deal harder than this one. There was a lot of stuff flying around, lots of fireballs from those plants, and this one was just really straightforward. There's a time and a place for grinding, and this was clearly was neither. It's a good job, it ended when it did, because it was getting... whatever that means. Yeah, I'm not even really sure how I'm supposed to read this. <laughs> oh well. Let's just continue onwards. I thought I'd be going over to the pipe to the right. Oh, I am doing that too. Oh, it's a path back. Well, if I had known that, I might have delayed going back to the storehouse until... <laughs> now, but... I'm assuming I haven't missed any Dragon Coins in any levels. Is this a Dragon Coin level? The Ruins of Old New York. Nice. By Big Brawler. I thought this might be a sequel to New Jersey level from Jump for a second, but if it was made by... Big Brawler, I feel like that's probably not it. I would have expected to be made by Yelp if that was the case. Alright, I don't want to go up there. I just want to go over here. The other mole just despawned, though, from me going back and forth, so I'll take that as a small victory. I should really just use the block instead of going on the mole. That would be a lot easier. Keep <laughs> spin you. Let's just get rid of these guys with the fire. Oh, the other guy just despawned. Don't want to lose my cape, that's for sure. Let's swap back to that right now. Alright, this is actually pretty tense. I'm not sure if the cape makes this easier or harder. I think easier. Is there a blue guy that's gonna run over and kick that? Or am I supposed to grab it? 
or maybe something completely different, I don't know. I'm really suspecting I was not sus supposed to do what I did, and I really should have found a different time to uh, test out whether the spin jump works. But it clearly did, so that's cool. Well, that was not good timing to lose that. That was close. I lost both my power-ups, so I definitely want to make it this time around. Ah, oh, shoot. I actually had to be farther back. I was expecting it to fall fast enough. But there's the midpoint. I'm very close. Dang it, stupid mushroom fell down. Well, let's hope I can do this part without a hit then. Alright, so I completely cheesed this obstacle last time. So whatever I did there, I can't do it again. Okay, you can't go up there. Looks like I want to go back to the left, grab this shell, and then drop it on this Monty, I mean Mega Mole. Then I have to do this again, I think, so that I can get past the Rexes. Maybe I could use the Bonsai Bill next time, though. That time I just did a better job with that jump, though. Just gotta re-grab as I fall down there, and that's not too bad. Alright, so I can do this without the cape. This was a little bit easier this time. It wasn't so precise. Alright, now we stand just on the right left side of this platform. Perfect. That block is for me to get a mushroom when I come back from respawning from the midpoint. Whoa, okay, I panicked there. I really should have focused on both of them. That guy throwing hammers faster than they usually do because that was faster than I expected for sure. All right, gotta wait just a tad longer there. And this time I'm going down. I definitely wanna bop him from underneath. Just gotta wait for the Mega Mole to get out of the way before I do that kill you. I don't think you're useful for anything. Random precision swimming section. Alright, that Charlie's not going to bother me until I go up there. And by then I don't think he'll be a problem. Okay, he'll be a problem if I don't kill him and he falls into the dragon coin spot, but... Alright, I probably want to just keep momentum here. I'm hoping I don't get bonsai build to the face. I really should have normal jumped. Ugh, how did I... I pressed the jump button just before I landed on the bone and just after, but that's no good. There we go. That was a lot better that time. Because the land is uneven over here, there isn't like a really nice spot to land after you do that other mole jump. 
I see another dragon coin, I know I'm pretty close to the end. Alright, so I can just wait here and then rush forward. Just jump over that gap. Let's use the mole to get up. Okay. Not sure why I need the one platform, probably for a dragon coin. Oh, actually I needed it to go on. That was very close. Couldn't even use a full height jump there, I don't think. If I had a jumped the entire way, I think I would have gotten hit. Glad the fifth dragon coin was just sitting there before the gold, because... If I had to go back and search for it, that could have been a pain for sure. That was a that was a pretty cool level. It was nice how the bonsai bills were kind of used to just control your speed. Like to make sure that you had to stop and think about the next obstacle coming up. Paraplegic Olympics. Um, I don't think I have time for this. All right. I'm interested to see what this level is going to be by FT29. There's a movie too, so that means it's going to certainly be a thing I have to figure out. See you next time.